codes uh, in that we will be looking about the Hamming code uh, how it will be correcting the error as well as how it will be detecting the error so what is the application when we have uh, uh, talking about the error detection and correction when is the so whenever the digital information is in the binary form is transmitted from one circuit system to another circuit or system an error may occur this means a signal corresponding to zero may change to one or vice versa due to the presence of noise so whenever a transmitted signal is passed through a channel there is a chance of mismatching the data means if the data if it is not received properly then the error may occur to maintain the data integrity between the transmitter and receiver so we are adding here an extra bit or more than one bits to the original data this extra bits allows the detection and sometimes corrections of error in the data so the data along with the extra bit or bits forms a code so what we are doing here is we are forming an error detection code by adding some information bits so these information bits are useful in correcting the error at the receiving end so these codes which allow only error detection are called as error detection codes and the codes which allow error detection and correction are called as error detection and correction codes now the codes whichever we are adding they are called as parity bits so how we are going to use this parity bits means uh, these parity bits are used in the purpose of detecting error during the transmission of binary information a parity bit is an extra bit included with the binary message to make the number of ones either odd or even the message included in the parity bit including the parity bit is transmitted and then checked at the receiving end for errors so an error is detected if the checked parity does not correspond with the one transmitted the circuit that generates the parity bits is called at the transmitter is called as a parity generator and the circuit that checks the parity in the receiving is called as a parity checker so whenever i want to transmit the data this data which i am transmitting is is encoded and that is transmitted so once it is getting encoded at the receiving end we will be integrating that with the transmitting and we will be cross verifying whether we have received a proper parity bit or not so <coughs> in even parity the added parity bit will make the total number of ones an even amount and in odd parity this added added parity bit will make the total number of ones in a odd amount so this is one bit which we are adding to the data because of that what we are doing is we are making either it is a total number of ones which are available there as even parity or odd parity now here is a bit uh, message abc and uh, if you want to convert to the odd parity for example 000, 000 this zero is considered as even number to make it odd parity i am adding a one so that the total number of ones which are present in this data bit is one likewise if you take uh, this one zero sorry zero one zero total number of ones are odd but to make an odd parity i need to add a zero if i add one again it will become a even parity likewise one 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 if you take uh, if i add one here the total number of ones will become even so to make a odd parity i am adding a zero similarly for even parity as zero we have considered it as even number so then adding a zero it will make an even parity and likewise zero one zero if you observe here the total number of ones are odd to make it even i am adding one and same way triple one uh, is a odd number total number of ones are odd and uh, if you add a one the total number of ones in that message will be even so that it is converted into even parity now what exactly a hamming code is how it is useful in detecting and correcting the errors let us see now the hamming code not only provides a detection of bit error but also identifies which bit is error so that it can be corrected thus hamming code is a called as error detecting and correcting code the code using a number of parity bits uh, depending upon the location or located at certain positions they are located at certain positions in the code group following <coughs> so what uh, exactly my hamming code is doing here is totally we are going to place uh, few parity bits 
in different locations based on the information bits. So, how we are placing the parity bits, how we are checking the error or how we are coding the data that we will uh, see now. Now, the number of parity bits required in a Hamming code is always dependent upon the information bits. If the number of information bits is designated as x, then the total number of parity bits as p is determined by this relationship 2 power p is greater than or equals to x plus p plus c, p plus 1 sorry, where x is the information bits. So, if you know x automatically we can know how many bits we require, how many parity bits we require. Now, for example, we have 4 information bits and x is equals to 4, then x plus p plus 1 is equals to 4 plus 2 plus 1 7. So, 4 is less than or equals to 7 it is false. So, when p is equals to 3 only it is possible. So, when p is equals 3 that will become 2 power p is equals to 8 whereas, 4 plus 3 plus 1 is 8. So, 8 equals to 8 it is satisfied. So, the number of parity bits which are required for 4 bit information is 3 parity bits. So, this can be found out only using the trial and error method. Now, where to place this parity bits? The location of parity bits in the code. So, in our example already we have considered 4 information bits and 3 parity bits. Therefore, the code is containing total 7 bits which are displayed here bit 1 to bit 7 and the parity bits are located in the positions of numbers corresponding to the powers of 2 means 2 power 0 first parity bit 2 power 1 second parity bit 2 power 2 that is fourth position is your third parity bit and 2 power 3 the eighth position will be the next parity bit it depends upon the information bits. So, once we know uh, how many number of parity bits required by positioning them in the powers of 2 we will be getting this sequence sequence first position as parity bit second position parity bit third position is data inform bit fourth bit again parity fifth sixth and seventh again data bits again 2 power 3 is 8. So, the eighth position will be a parity bit. Now, how to assign the values to each and every parity bit? If you observe here, we have constructed the bit position table. In this bit position table, we will be placing the information bits, whatever they are given in the information bits positions and I will be keeping the empty my parity bit positions based on what kind of parity it is, either even parity or odd parity, I will be checking for the assigning values to P 1. If I want to assign the value for P 1, then uh, if I want to make it to even parity, I will check uh, the positions of 1, 3, 5, 7, 1, 3, 5 and 7 positions, what are the data bits you are having? I will check the total number of ones, whether they are even or not in that particular positions. So, if it is an even, then I will put a 0 in my parity bit P1, P1 position, else to make it even, I will put a 1. Similarly, assigning the values to P2, I will be checking 2, 3, 6, 7 positions, 2, 3, 6 and 7 positions, such that according to the even and odd parity, again I will be assigning the P2 and uh, P2 values. Assigning the value of P4, I will check 4, 5, 6, 7 positions. Now, how to remember these numbers? It is too difficult to remember these numbers. So, because of that reason only we are writing uh, the binary location numbers in the form of binary number system. Now, if you observe the positions of 1, 3, 5, 7, 1 is having a first bit as 1, 3 is also having first bit 1, 5 is also having first bit 1 and 7 is also having first uh, bit as 1. So, I am checking for the positions of binary locations whose uh, LSB is 1 for assigning a value of P 1. Likewise, for assigning the value of P 2, I am checking for the position of 2, 3, 6, 7, 2, 3, 6 and 7. That means, which are having in the second bit position, which are having 1s, I am taking that locations for checking even or odd parity to assign the value of P 2. And likewise, assigning the value of P 4, I am checking the third position 1s, that is 4, 5, 6 and 7 positions, uh, they are having 1 in their third position, I am checking and assigning based on the even or odd parity. Now, we will look uh, into a problem where we will be uh, practically seeing how we are assigning the values to the given problems. Now, see here, the first one is encode the binary word 1011 into 7 bit even parity Hamming code. Now, 
as the information bit we know that it is a 4 bit data by trial and error method the total number of parity bits what we are going to find is p is equals to 3. So, the total code will be forming 4 information bit and 3 parity bits that is 7 bit code. Now, first construct the bit location table in that 1 0 1 1 I am inserting in the data positions. Now, determine the parity bits for checking for p 1 I am checking the p, p 1 1 3 5 and 7 one position anyhow we need to fill. So, to make it into a even parity. So, what I am doing is one three position one I have five one I have and seven also I have a one this three ones is a odd number total number of ones are odd to make it into even parity I need to keep one here such that p 1 has become one for p 2 locations of three next six next seven three six seven one zero one. So, total number of ones are two ones. So, we have an even parity. So, I am placing a 0 here like that the bit locations of 5 6 7 if I take uh, 1 0 1 I have even parity such that uh, I am keeping a 0 in the P 4 position. So, the entire code is 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 that is 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 is my encoded data. Now, determining one more example I am taking a 5 bit value. 5 bit information bit. Uh, now, uh, for p is equals 3 it is not suitable. So, I am going for p is equals to 4 we satisfy the equation 2 power p greater than or equals to x plus p plus 1. So, the total bit code will become 5 information bit plus 4 parity bits that is 9 bit. Now, assigning the values the construction of bit location table keeping the data bits in their positions checking for the parity for p 1 it is 3 5 7 9 and 9 is also having 1 in the first position. So, now, now to make it a odd parity I need to add a 0 why because 9 7 5 3 are having total number of 1s as 3 which is a odd number to make it odd number I am adding a 0 for bit locations of 3 6 7 3 6 and 7 have 2 ones to therefore, to have an odd parity p 2 should be equals to 1 and bit location 5 6 7 have 2 ones in there are uh, uh, there. So, to have an odd parity p 4 must be 1. So, likewise the p 8 uh, only checks for the positions of 8 and 9 why because the fourth bit uh, one position is uh, the p 8 uh, and for odd parity what I need to have is that uh, what we see the odd parity I need to add a 0. So, that to code word what we have formed is 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 1 and 0 that is a code which we have started. Now, let us concentrate on detecting and correcting errors. Now, we will see how to use it and locate and correct the errors. To do this each parity bit along with the corresponding group of bits must be checked for proper parity. After all parity checks. A binary word is formed taking the result bit for p 1 as l s b. This will give the bit location where the error has occurred. So, now what I am doing here is simply at the receiving end I am checking for the parity. If the checking parity is right I am placing a 0, if it is wrong I am placing a 1. Now, p 1 if I am considering as the l s b and if it is a 7 bit code considering the p 4 as my m s b what are the code which is generated in that position we are having an er error we will be correcting the error. Let us see it practically. Now, assuming that an even parity having code 0 double 1 double 0 double 1 is transmitted and that 0 1 triple 0 double 1 is received the receiver does not know what was transmitted determine the bit location where the error has occurred using the receiving code. Now, let us see if you compare these two codes we know that very clearly this code uh, uh, here 1 is changed to 0 is it right, but uh, that we need to verify using a checking a proper parity. So, construct the bit location table received code you write as it is now check for the position of p 1 p 1 need to check for uh, 1357 now checking back 1 3 5 and 7. So, total number of 1s are 1 to make it in a even parity it is not a even parity. So, I need to keep it 
have 1, there is a 1 in the group. So, I will keep the 1 as it is. For P 2, check the locations of 2, 3, 6, 7. Now, 2, 3, 6 and 7. Total number of 1s are even. So, I will place a 0 here. Right. Now, checking fourth, P 4, check the locations of 2, 5, 6, 7. There are only 1 1s in the group. So, again it is a wrong. I am placing a 1. Now, this is LSB, this is MSB. Now, 1 0 1 means 5. So, in fifth bit position, there is an error. So, the result and the, the 1, uh, it is 0, it should be a 1. So, finally, the corrected code is 0 double 1 double 0 double 1. So, this is what we have shown that is a fifth position which is having the error. Now, the Hamming code 10110 is received. Correct it if any error, there are 4 parity bits and odd parity is used. Construction of bit location table again writing the sequence checking for 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. Now, it is wrong I placed a 1 again checking for the parity 2, 3, 6, 7 for P 2 it is correct. So, I placed a 0, 4, P 4 checks the locations of 4, 5, 6, 7 and 7. Uh, 7. There are 3 ones in the group. So, it is odd parity is correct again place a 0. P 8 checks the locations of 8 and 9. So, there is only 1 1. So, it is odd parity again it is correct. So, 1 triple 0 that is 8th position you are having an error sorry first position 0 0 0 1 that is the first position where you are having error. So, it can be corrected uh, instead of 1 I will write it as a 0. So, thank you for watching for more videos subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.